Your Excellency, Baron Emanuel Emanuele, Professor Alfred Villa, Ambassadors, distinguished guests, good morning. We would like to thank you all for accepting our invitation and for joining us for the launch of the Emanuele Cancer Research Foundation, Malta. The purpose of this foundation is to reduce the impact and burden of cancer on the people of Malta, the Mediterranean region, and globally through supporting and promoting world-class cancer research, development, and education. The Emanuele Cancer Research Foundation Malta is being founded by the President's Trust, the Fondazione Terzo Pilastro, together with the University of Malta. To start with, let me introduce Mr. Michael Bianchi, trustee of the President's Trust, for his speech today. Mr. Bianchi. Good morning, Excellency, Barone and Baronessa Emanuele, Professor Vella, Excellencies, Member of Parliaments, distinguished guests, welcome to the official launch of the Emanuele Cancer Research Foundation, and welcome to the signing ceremony that will give birth to this wonderful initiative. It is a rare privilege and a great honor for me to have been asked to give today's opening speech, and I will keep it relatively short, giving the floor immediately after to our host director of the University of Malta, and may I take the opportunity to thank you, Professor Vella, for hosting us here today, to Barone Emanuele, and to Her Excellency, the President of Malta. With such distinguished individuals, it would be presumptuous for me to extend my speech beyond this limit, but a few words I must say. This occasion is too important and joyful for me to resist the temptation to express myself. My late father used to always tell me that we are on the earth as caretakers and our primary obligation and responsibility is to leave a better world for the generations to come. He instilled in me the importance of living a meaningful life. But it is only after my involvement with the President's Trust that I truly began to appreciate the need and importance of making a contribution to society that fully reflects, in a tangible manner, that obligation and sense of duty to make the world a better place. I am surrounded in this room by individuals that have dedicated their lives to improving the lives of others. And this commitment that is so deeply rooted in Her Excellency the President of Malta, in Barone Emanuele, and in all those individuals that work within the University of Malta and the Maltese healthcare system, cannot but rub off on others like myself that are regularly exposed to this remarkable goodwill and generosity of heart and mind. I thank you all for being who you are, and I thank you all for making me a better person. Excellency, it is your singular vision that has enabled us to be here today to inaugurate the Emanuele Cancer Research Foundation. I know that this has long been your dream. For generations to come, Malta will be eternally grateful to you for having made this possible. This initiative, this reality, will bring to Malta a badly needed and long overdue addition to our healthcare system in the area of cancer research, where little, if anything, has been done to date by successive governments. Unlike the short-term approach that politicians may sometimes have, this initiative you have inspired us to start today is destined to benefit generations to come, and hopefully, and I'm confident, will inspire and prompt research that will lead to prevention and to cures. Over the last few years, working alongside you, Excellency, I have witnessed firsthand your unstinting efforts and undivided focus to help all those in need and less fortunate. And the President's Trust, founded by you, is just one example of your determination to address all those issues and ills that sometimes fall between an unbeknowing population and successive governments that sometimes do nothing or at times too little too late. Your interventions have played a major part in making this country a better and more caring society. 
The President's Trust has taken on and now rolled out many projects over the last three years. And I wish to thank you, Your Excellency, and all those other colleagues and friends within the Trust that have made all this possible. Today's inauguration of the Emanuele Cancer Research Foundation is a very important milestone for the President's Trust and reinforces our commitment to work harder and with even greater determination in the years ahead. Professor Vella, we are all indebted to the University of Malta for having accepted with such enthusiasm to become the most important and integral partner of this Cancer Research Foundation. The facilities you have made available to the Emanuele Cancer Research Foundation and your researchers who will work within these wonderful buildings will ensure that this Cancer Foundation will rapidly obtain national and international recognition and respect. Today is the first step in a journey that will see this research foundation develop into a recognized center of excellence and innovation. And I look forward to working closely alongside yourself and all your colleagues in my role to further assist you specifically in your funding requirements. The University of Malta can trace its roots to 1592, 425 years ago, and was formally established as a university in 1769, 250 years ago. It is one of the oldest seats of learning in Europe and the oldest in the Commonwealth. Its Faculty of Medicine was established in 1771, just less than 250 years ago. It is therefore a great privilege for the President's Trust and the Fondazione Terzo Pilastro to now establish together with the University of Malta this wonderful partnership and a research foundation whose raison d'etre is to support in every way possible the sterling research work that your institution already carries out. I thank you and your council and your colleagues for having immediately recognized the need and value of establishing this new cancer research foundation, which we are confident will help to elevate and enhance the level of research already carried out by your university by making considerably more resources and funding available to you. And finally, dear, dear, Professor Emanuele. All this would simply not have been possible without your enormous generosity, your vision, and your willingness to spread the remarkable good works and deeds which your various foundations perform to beyond the shores of Italy and to other countries within the Mediterranean area and North Africa. Your foundations can trace their origins to the Monte di Pietà, founded in 1539 and are amongst the oldest and largest private foundations in Europe. And we are delighted and proud to have you here with us today. There are simply too many projects and undertakings that you have been responsible for, and the list is far too long for me to mention them all here. It is, however, pertinent to note and to mention today your recent support of Biogem Ariano Irpino, a research center for biotechnology and molecular genetics, in association with various universities and medical institutions. Your village for Alzheimer patients, your various hospitals, including your hospital for palliative care, which I had the opportunity to visit. Your support of various hospitals throughout Italy, the Policlinica Gemelli, the Bambino Gesù Pedriatic Hospital, and so, so many others. Your support of so many universities and higher education institutes. Your support of the arts and culture, the list just goes on and on. I must also make reference to the sponsorships you have made available for multi-students to attend Lewis University in Rome. Free students every year will benefit from a scholarship covering all costs, educational, travel, and subsistence. And as you know, we have already identified students that will be attending Lewis University this coming semester. You have recognized the need for the private sector to step in and to work alongside state entities and bodies and organizations to provide and enhance those services that our communities need and at times do not readily find available. In healthcare, you have made it possible to bring state-of-the-art technology to the patient's bed, covering areas from cardiac robotics to cornea transplant. You have been painstakingly identified specific areas in healthcare that needed to be supported and unreservedly moved in with all the resources needed. 
achieving tangible and expedient results. And now we have the Emanuele Cancer Research Foundation, which you have made possible for your readiness and agreement to make available such a generous donation towards CAPEX and operational costs over the next five years. Your non-profit foundations with a net asset value of Euro 2 billion and managed so effectively by your good self and your team, dis distribute many millions every, every year to charities and various projects in the fields of healthcare, research, social assistance, and art and culture. And we are fortunate to now belong to your network and to this wonderful family. Your Fondazione Terzi Pilastro Italia Mediterraneo, e Mediterraneo will focus on those needs within societies living in the south of Italy and throughout the Mediterranean area, where Malta occupies a strategic geographical position and can play an important political role. Your presence in Malta is therefore highly valuable, not only to us Maltese, but to the Mediterranean area in general. And we wish the Fondazione Terzo Pilastro, which will soon be opening up its own offices in Malta, every success in all your undertakings, now and in the future. It falls upon me, and it is my privilege, dear Barone Emanuele, to thank you on behalf of all us Maltese and all our future generations for having made it possible for Malta to now have its own state-of-the-art cancer research foundation. The collaboration between the Fondazione Terzo Pilastro, the University of Malta, the state hospital and private hospitals, and the President's Trust is an example of how a small nation should pool resources to maximize the outcome. And I also hope will serve as an example for other initiatives in the future. Sorry I was very long. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Bianchi. Let me now introduce Professor Alfred Vella, Rector of University. Excellency, Professor Emanuele, distinguished guests, colleagues. It is, this moment to me is unreal, is a bit unreal. Not too long ago, I was also in the company of um, the president at another occasion where I was telling <coughs> the group there um, present about how the University of Malta is blessed with having talented students and talented staff who generate not only degrees in, in a variety of subjects, but research and its outcomes, by which research and its outcomes, people recognize us for being a university. A university is not just a place that propagates the professed truths of the past to the, future, to the students, current and future, but it is a place where we are supposed to teach our students to challenge those truths and to change knowledge, not just to propagate it. But of course, to do that, you need, besides the talented staff and receptive students, you also need resources. And I was complaining at that meeting quite publicly that unfortunately we, we in, in this country um, seem to not realize that it also takes some more than people uh, and, and even resources to generate good research. You need funds, you need resources, monetary, financial resources, with which you purchase equipment, which is possibly the least of the problems, but also you need to have additional researchers working with our staff to do the work and to apply their minds, the most important instrument, the one between the ears. And you get that by having people come here and working for us for a period um, to help us challenge that uh, truth. Now, when, therefore, 
the President informed me about this opportunity to set up a foundation that has a philanthropic mission uh, dedicated to promoting the work that we're doing, it was unreal. Um, and I have to confess that the moment right now is, is magical. And I'm afraid that uh, I do something to, to break the spell and um, to wake up from a dream. Uh, but no, we're here and we are um, convinced that this is a step, the first step in a long road that will lead to uh, results of which we will all be proud. All of us working in this building especially where most of the research, but not necessarily all of the research, will be happening because the idea is to have all aspects related to cancer work um, considered. And our colleagues from a variety of disciplines, not just the medics uh, and the medical scientists, but also the other areas, um, because of course cancer has effects that go beyond the physical debilitation. Um, and we will want to address those too. So, thank you, um, Barone Emanuele. Thank you, um, Madam President. And let's, let's make this um, an important reality that is capable of changing the manner and the quantity of work that we can do in this area. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Vella. I would now like to introduce Barone Emanuele Emanuele for his speech. Barone. After this introduction, I'm very, very, <laughs> I'm a very happy to contribute on this project. So important in a world where the cancer disease continues to devastate humanity. The sensitivity of excellence the president proves once again that we both think and work alike. I am very glad that this project like others that you have spoke, like uh, others in Italy, such as the Hospice for Terminal Patients and the Village Emanuele for people with uh, Alzheimer's disease, bears main name here. This is the continuation of activity of a milding edge in Malta, where the Portuguese branch of Emanuele family, Spanish and Italian, left traces such as the Manuel Fort and the Manuel Theatre. I wish to thank the Excellence, the President, and their institution, the President Trust. And uh, I see some member of uh, this fantastic, my close friend, Winston Zara, and I know, and I am looking for, for Alfred Fabri, My, I, I can see for Alfred Fabri, well, anyway, for allowing the activity, and I would be happy as a representative of the Mediterranean Foundation, shoulder the project by terminal as soon as possible. This is my dream, my dear rector. I wish also to thank the University of Malta and the Rector for the opportunity to allocate this project in this beautiful place. It's fantastic. This university is uh, no comparison with the other country in which I was traveling often. What we should to do is giving you added resources to support your scientific activity in the field of research. This is our goal. This is my desire. 
for five years, and I hope more if it's necessary. Finally, I will say thank you. And the person as Michael Bianchi. We say very, very thank you because his assistance and the high level of a professional competence is to aid us in any moment. Thanks, Michael. Thanks. Thank you very much. And we say thank you to Carmel Briefer, Sarah Bordin, and the other member of the staff, of the presidential staff. More and more than others for you, President, because your sensitivity, your aim, that is so different from the person that I met during my life in many, many countries in which the policy and uh, is, uh, works against the project of a no-profit organization, of the person as me, they are no interest that also will want aid the poor people. And you are the first person in my life. Thank you very much, Baron Emanuele Emanuele. And now let me introduce Her Excellency and President of Malta, Mary Louise Colero Preca, for her speech. Barone, Professor Emanuele Emanuele, President della Fondazione Terzo Pilastro, Italia e Mediterraneo, Baronessa Emanuele. Professor Alfred Vella, Rector of the University of Malta, Pro-Rectors, Excellencies, colleagues from the President's Trust, members of the Senate and of the Council of the University of Malta, members of academia, distinguished guests, dear friends. I can assure that this is, this is the hardest speech. It's really a good thing I, I have it written down. <laughs> well, I truly feel honored and privileged to announce the launch of the very first cancer research entity in the Maltese Islands, the Emanuele Cancer Research Foundation. This new and most important venture will provide the much needed research, development and education about cancer for the benefit of individuals, families, communities and societies across the Maltese Islands, but also the Mediterranean region, and I do hope even beyond. I am also pleased to announce that the Emanuele Cancer Research Foundation is a tripartite collaboration between the President's Trust, the University of Malta, and the Fondazione Terzo Pelastro, Italia and Mediterraneo. It is thanks to this close cooperation among all these stakeholders that we have reached today's historic occasion. Let me therefore take this opportunity to commend the dedication and hard work of all the individuals and groups involved in the creation and development of the Emanuele Cancer Research Foundation. I would like to, com to commend especially the have the financial support offered by the president of the Fondazione Terzo Pelastro, Italia Mediterraneo, Barone Professor Emanuele Emanuele, 
that will translate the vision of Malta's own Professor Chris Sherry, because he was the, the professor that we've been working with for quite a number of months now, and the University of Malta into a reality. Thank you, Barone, Professor Emanuele, for being a catalyst to make this vision a reality and with great benefits to many, many people to come. Let me also take this opportunity to thank the President's Trust, and in particular, Mr. Michael Bianchi, who worked tirelessly to see this project being set up and coming to fruition. I must also thank you, Rector, for believing, because for a time it was only talk, but then it started to take shape. But you've believed from the very first time. And really, I must thank you. Today's event is also made possible thanks to the commitment that has been made by members of the civil society in Malta, working in the sector of cancer care. And I really must not, I must not forget them. When some time ago, a few years back, I facilitated the setting up of the National Cancer Platform Association, all non-governmental organizations working in the cancer sector united together to identify a common aim. The primary aim of the National Cancer Platform Association was and still is to provide a safe space for sharing expertise and building collaborations to further our knowledge and to provide collective recommendations to the authorities and the sector in general. In this context, the association has already done so by offering its constructive contributions to the recently launched National Cancer Plan for 2017-2021. This is also an opportunity to command the Ministry for Health for adopting some of the recommendations made by our National Cancer Platform Association. One of the most important recommendations, which was submitted by the National Cancer Platform Association, was regarding the need to embark into cancer research. In fact, the idea for the Emanuela Cancer Research Foundation began due to this recommendation. It came about in response to a marked increase in cancer rates. There is distressing data provided by the World Cancer Research Fund, which states that cancer cases in Malta are expected to rise by a shocking 49% by 2030. Cancer affects us all, our families and our communities. It does not discriminate because of age or gender. I am convinced that all of our families and our circles of friends have been in touch in some way or another by the difficulties and strains which a cancer diagnosis can bring. For this reason, responding in a proactive way to the challenges of cancer must continue to be a top priority on our national agenda. From my own experiences working within the Malta Community Chest Fund Foundation, I have met with increasing numbers of individuals and families who require urgent treatments to address their cancer concerns. The Emanuela Cancer Research Foundation will help us to do more, not only to provide necessary responses after a positive cancer diagnosis, but to also promote research which hopefully will help us combat cancer and its attendant risks. I am convinced that the foundation will not only supply the much needed equipment for research, but will also provide the necessary facilities to support patients during the process of diagnosis. There are studies related to the social habits of the Maltese conducted by the World Cancer Research Fund, which unfortunately suggests that higher levels of obesity, alcohol consumption, and lower levels of physical activity all represent troubling risk factors for developing certain cancers, 
within our population. I am confident that the Emanuela Cancer Research Foundation will collaborate to tackle, to tackle these and other social, cultural, and environmental indicators which are contributing to the risk of cancer in our communities and across Maltese and Gazetan societies. In so doing, the Foundation will effectively support and promote world-class world cancer research by taking the lead and becoming a regional hub, direct, redirecting important funding opportunities into cancer-related collaboration among national stakeholders. Moreover, we will aim to provide opportunities for cutting-edge for cutting and innovative transdisciplinary approaches with the European and international cancer research community. I am convinced that the Foundation will be a catalyst to bring together all stakeholders to work in synergy. The Foundation shall also provide a valuable platform to disseminate information and increase education about cancer to the general public. It shall also act as a participating voice in the formulation of Maltese policies and strategies for cancer prevention, treatment, and care. On concluding, let me state that the establishment of the Emanuela Cancer Research Foundation represents an exciting new chapter in the development of cancer research and treatment in our Maltese islands, the Mediterranean region, and even beyond. The Foundation will not only take practical steps to ensure that cancer care is of the highest possible level, it will also be investing in preventive strategies to assure the long-term quality of life which the people of the Maltese Islands, the Mediterranean region, and beyond all deserve. It is only by working together, by listening to one another, and by taking practical actions in synergy with each other that we can effectively respond to the complex and multifaceted demands of cancer support, care, and research. We must keep taking innovative strides forward. We must never compromise on the holistic well-being that our families and our communities can expect. We must continue to make a comprehensive commitment to keep providing the best in cancer research, treatment, and education for the benefit of both present and future generations. And finally, let me once again thank you, Barone Professor Emanuele, for your constant support and for making this vision a reality in the Maltese Islands. Thank you so much. This is a moment of pride, as today we are making history. Thank you. Thank you, Your Excellency. We now invite Baron Emanuel Manuele, Professor Alfred Vella, and Mr. Bianchi for the signing of the agreement. Please.